Greetings. <laughs> Greetings, <laughs> everyone. This is OMG. This is OMG Live, the quarantine edition, coming to you live at 2 p.m. I am Richard Ragobatsing, and I am speaking to you live from Arima, where it is pretty hot today and this afternoon, welcoming you to our daily gathering. Now, how many of you were loving those showers last night? Oh. I tell oh. you, but I can, sure. I can tell you in Arima, it, it was showers and wind. Look, endless Bonnet. wind howling Bonnet through. No showers. Bonnet had nothing. It had not an answer ring no. down by me. Uh oh. Serious? No, okay. Well, in Arima, it was endless rain and, and a lot of um, wind, so much so that a part of Arima went, electricity went. So, yeah. how much of you enjoyed that? You know, a, a lot of your love rain. Yes, yeah. I'm not, yes. Yes, yeah, it was a I'm, wonderful. <laughs> so, come in, call a friend, tell a neighbor, start getting sure. this show on the road, people. Yes, 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 yes. Well, everyone, Richard Young here, and I too enjoyed the showers and I cuddled up. Um, plus, the double lines are back in full swing, and KFC is in the hands and mouths of so many yet again. So, all is well in the land wow. once more. <laughs> Remember, we are here from Monday to Friday, 2 to 3 p.m., right here at OMG TT on Facebook. We appreciate each and every one of you for joining Richard and I and our wonderful ladies. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, 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 Facebook people. This is Cornella P. Spencer calling, coming from Diego Martin. All the Sando people, hello, hello, hello. Love you all. Come in, tell all the neighbors we on. Hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. I'm Cecilia Salazar, and I am in beautiful. What is it? It's very cool today. Very cool, Pity Valley. And it really rained here last night. It was wonderful. We needed that rain. And I'm so yeah. glad to yeah. be here on OMG Live, Definitely. the quarantine edition. Yeah. Oh, I have to show you my nails. Mm. Hey, hey, Papa. Ah. My daughter, my daughter did them for me. <laughs> My daughter. So after this, y'all can I'll hook you all up after the quarantine. Hi yeah, guys, Bonnet. <laughs> in Labre, of course, where it did not rain at all. Not one drop of rain for last night. I I have no clue what you're talking about. I don't know if the rain follows stuff by the cross person, Bridge and Sando. But nothing like that down by me. <laughs> and of course, to all of those around the world. And the islands up the Caribbean. Welcome to OMG Live, the quarantine edition. Of course, it's our way to come together, talk, laugh, and build a community. Um, so come in. Come in. Come in, come in. According to Benny, come in. Come in. Come in. <laughs> In today's show, we have the OMG Guess That Movie Challenge in the Let's Play That Game segment. If you get it right, you get to ask anybody on our panel just one question. We have some Oscar mm -hmm. winners to drop your memory. We are also featuring mm -hmm. a brand new music video released just a few hours ago with a female Trini singer named Island featuring American rapper named Bo Fleek. And the song mm -hmm. is called Jaminka Jaminka Toka. Hmm. <laughs> you'll also see some hilarious videos from tiktok plus you know we love a tiktok and plus we have a trailer from a new comedy starring the very funny will and grace lead sean hayes so look forward to that it's called like lazy it. susan and it's coming to your screen plus lots of enlightening conversations to get you thinking so please stay with us this is OMG Live, the quarantine edition. Special and special shout out, special shout out, special shout out to the voice in the sky, the master control, the digi god himself, Stephen Dubal. Welcome, Hi. Stephen. Hi. Stephen. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, angels. <laughs> 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 Oh, I 
Olha só, 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 Share the live video, video on your timeline now. Just look at the bottom right-hand corner of this video. You will see the share arrow. Share it. Spread the word. Tell your family. Tell your neighbors. Tell your friends. Come in. Share it now. Mm -hmm. Share. Of All course, right. during yes, during yesterday yesterday's episode, we had we had some VIP, some very important points of view. Um, from all of those who joined with us and shared with us on Facebook. So let's take a look at some of those VIPs. Mm -hmm. Our first VIP is, ah, my friend and past and old colleague, Ambika Cindy Rampasad. And she says, I was thinking about asking my boss to take my lunch break at 2 p.m. when I go back to work. And that's to make sure she doesn't miss <laughs> OMG. Hi, Ambika. <laughs> I yeah, like Ambika, yeah. I like Ambika. Very nice. Our uh, second uh, VIP, very important point of view, is from Raphael Bernardine, and he lives in Suffolk, Virginia. He says, true happiness is not based on circumstance, situation, or the people you are with. Happiness is a choice. You choose to be happy regardless of situation or circumstance. Thank you very much, Raphael. I like that. Yeah. Happiness is a choice. Yes, we choose to be happy here on OMG Live. Aloy Johnson, who is in Tobago, but originally from Toronto, Ontario. Suppose he ain't changed his address on the, on the Facebook yet. He's in Tobago. What he says is, Penny, whatever you ate this weekend, I want some. You're over pumped up. LOL. Well, it's really about the last comment. Happiness is what you choose, so I chose to be happy yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And, to be, and to be pumped up. Pump up. Pump yeah. up. Thank you, Alo. All right, but well, let's <laughs> let's see um let's see what social media is saying. I'm taking you over um to Vonet and Richard. Tell us what's going on social media, guys. Well, we have a couple guys in. We have the Kersey Redman, my old physiotherapist. Um, Hillary Loveless, Priya Gomes Mora, Dion McNichol Stevenson. Dion, what a wonderful article. Thanks for the encouragement yesterday. Kevin Marsh, photographer. Kurt, Kurt, no, that's, sorry, not photographer. This is Curtis Jordan, the photographer is Gary Jordan. Hi, Rachel Young, Anthony Lawrence, Alison McLeod, Luan Thomas, Ola Williams, Anderson Morris, Leah Payne Figaro. Hayden Rodriguez, Shelly Ann Noel in Tobago, Stephanie Ann Campbell, my sister in England, Greg Cave, John Michael Thomas, Ray Ross, Verna St. Rose, hi Verne, Ashaki Scott, Heather Spencer. Who do you have there, Richard, that I'm not seeing? Williams, Cassandra Pemberton, um, Sean Edwards, um, Nigel Friday, Heidi Hackshaw, um, did you see Marie Millet? Did you see Carol Prince Mandela? Uh, Brent Joel. So yes, we still got, got off to a fine start. A lot of our That's regulars wonderful. are on. Thanks for joining Friends. us. Thanks, people. Yeah. We love all yeah, you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, <laughs> all right, well, okay, first, can I say what? something quick, Richard? Can I just say that um, there's a yeah. webinar that Dion McNichol will be hosting this afternoon at 5.30 p.m. on Film Code TT on Facebook. Just go on to Film Code TT's page and they're helping you fill out the forms for self-employment for people who need help filling it out or have questions. I know Dion is doing that today. So I think that's a wonderful initiative from that's Film Code TT. That's great. Just want to say wonderful, you. wonderful Dion. Thank, you. Right. Thank you very much, Dion. I was just about Can to tear off my and yeah. pieces, Dion, because I don't understand. <laughs> I want too many things, too many things. I want my soul just now. So thank you. <laughs> just say. All right. Definitely. Just say. Okay, let's start on a little serious note, you know. Right now, we always mm. start off with our OMG Live COVID-19 update to keep you in tune. First, let's take a look at the latest World Health Organization's figures. Wow. 
Today, the worldwide COVID-19 infection is 4,297,461 infected persons and counting. That is a lot of people earlier. The death wow. toll, 289,101 souls in the world have died because of COVID-19. The recovery is 1,546,114 persons who have recovered. And in Trinidad and Tobago, all our figures have been holding. We are still at 116 positive cases. Eight Trinidadians have regrettably lost their lives to this um, virus and 107 persons have been discharged who have recovered uh, from COVID-19 in TNT. So that's always a great figure to read. Yeah. Yeah. It, the U.S. The U.S continues to ignore the social distancing guidelines with over 82,000 deaths today and 1,391,672 wow. positive cases. Here is a report. That's a crazy figure. Mm -hmm. Crazy figure. Tonight, Tesla CEO Elon Musk is defying stay-at-home orders by restarting production at the company's auto plant in Fremont, California. Musk could face a fine or even jail time. He's not alone in expressing frustration with the restrictions. But today, we learned a key forecasting model predicts the U.S. death toll could surpass 137,000 by August because of a lack of social distancing. Here's CBS's Jamie Yukis. Open defiance at this Castle Rock, Colorado restaurant. Large crowds, no social distancing, ignoring a state rule that bans dining inside. You know, we'll probably pay fines and you know, maybe even jail, but you know, we're willing to make a statement. Today, local health officials made a statement of their own, ordering the restaurant to close immediately and remain closed. Late this afternoon, another large crowd defying the order. And there's this image of a nearly packed United Airlines flight from New Jersey to California. This weekend, a doctor on board saying the airline had promised not to use middle seats. He said passengers were shocked and scared. Tonight, in a response, United says it never made those assurances, but it is planning on changing its social distancing policies. Across the country, a dilemma, the desire to reopen and the consequences. In Los Angeles, some non-essential businesses are now able to provide curbside pickup. People are super happy that I'm open. You're now much more hopeful that you're able to open the doors. Yeah, but I know deep down inside a lot of people are still afraid to come out. So I can't control that. I'm fighting an unseen enemy. The restless finally have a place to hike as trails reopen. My heart is all pumped and like, oh my God, I'm going back. Late today, Major League Baseball owners reportedly approved a plan to start the season around the 4th of July without fans. The final schedule and where play will happen is still not clear, and the All-Star game set for here at Dodger Stadium on July 14th is likely to be called off. Nora? Jamie, thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They you know, a, a lot of the times... You, no, you know, a lot of the times we talk. Sorry. They were showing a photograph the other day in America, a large, a, a really huge football field. And they showed pictures of people in that field. And they're saying that the amount of deaths from COVID-19 is more than the people that they had in that photograph. It was amazing. Sorry, Richard. You were saying. Yeah, no, I was just I was just saying that a lot of the times, you know, for Trinbegonians, we often say, or people of people often say, oh Trinidad, Trinidadians are the Begonians, we're not a disciplined people, etc. 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 But we have been pretty disciplined in terms of dealing with COVID-19 vis-a-vis -vis Americans, a lot of whom you saw there, like you know, going to do defying the orders to stay inside the restaurant and stuff like that, um, which Trinidadians, of course, didn't even contemplate. So and so they're being pretty indisciplined. And so it was. it's interesting from that perspective for me because a lot of the times you hear that we as a people are indisciplined, which I don't necessarily yeah. buy into, but I'm just saying that's well, a lot of the narrative yeah. that you hear about yeah. Trinidadians yeah. and Tobago.
But, but the thing with wide... those Americans, yes, and the thing with those Americans is they don't even believe it. They're caught up in that conspiracy theory that it's a hoax and that it's not out there and that the economy don't need to lock down. I don't understand it. They're not listening to the scientists and to the facts. I, it, it's mind boggling to me. And you hear the predictions. Well, just... you hear... Go ahead, Richard. I was just mentioning the predictions I was hearing about 3,000 deaths a day um, coming up in June based on the reopening of over 45 states i just think it's so alarming yeah yeah and and it's and it has to be crazy for us too because so many so many trinidadians and begonians have family who live in the united states um so it's even more crazy when you think about that but as but, cecilia then, brought <laughs> children coming into that fray just now with children being affected by covid 19 coming into that now is just so scary as a grandmother who have my children grandchildren up there so americans are a better watch all your step because i don't understand this is not a game nope. yeah, yeah, but, yeah but as cecilia brought up the issue i wanted to go back to the fact that cecilia brought up the issue of conspiracy theories so we are seeing a lot of conspiracy theories that are popping up um all over the place with dire implications and that's a pet peeve of mine i can tell you all of these conspiracy yes, theories sometimes sometimes i am battling them single-handedly finding videos <laughs> and pouring it out there to, to contradict that narrative it is exhausting so there was a man on there was a man on instagram showing evidence that the coronavirus financial relief bill which was placed in the u.s senate in january 2019 well here in that date january 2019 is what he said He's saying that the financial relief bill was in the Senate in January 2019 for debate yeah. and processing. Yeah. So that so that is why the six trillion dollar COVID-19 bailout bill was approved so fast. All the legislative work was pre-done. Could you believe that? Wow. Only taking that in. Wow, yeah. so it's Isn't that crazy. <laughs> but that's what he's saying, but but uh, but obviously we that. went through we saw what we, we saw what was taking place in the senate and congress with in terms of passing that bill and and president trump eventually signing it i saw american talk show host bill maher talking about uh -huh. we need to give our bodies the chance to fight COVID 19 so we can get over it so over protecting ourselves can only harm us now i love bill maher I love him. I love yeah. Bill Maher. I find he is so funny. He is so yeah. incisive. And, you know, he's so honest about his opinion. Yeah. I don't know if I agree with you. Bill, I don't know if I agree with you this time. Eh? I yeah. understand I the thing about herd, herd immunity. I understand the thing about herd immunity, but I don't know. I, I, so, I, I, mean, I, I agree. I agree. To, I remember I was talking about these doctors I saw. They were originally from Norway. And they were talking about how you quarantine the sick. So if you test, 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 then the sick and the most vulnerable are who you quarantine and you let your healthy go back out to work. So the healthy yeah, but the only thing is the immunities. Except that um, some of the science says that people who are non-symptomatic are contagious. So it means test, test, somebody test. who is presumptive. Yep. Somebody who's presumptively healthy can be among people who are vulnerable yeah. who are high risk people mm -hmm. with with um underlying um situations so i but don't they know. have to stay home but I mean, for a while so what are we to believe if in fact the conspiracy theories are correct that this is not nature taking its course it's a man-made what can we do it is so confusing when you if you were to take on conspiracy theories i swear to yeah. god you will go mad you will of go course. mad. You will. You will. I don't. You will get mind. up and you will lie in your. You will lie in your bed and not want to move. That's how I see. Yes. There's so many. There's so many. Richard popping so up all many. the time. What you guys think? What you guys think? I I am so confused hearing about. Um, it's it's a hoax, but they're making it believe. Making you believe that you need to to get it so that you can have the antibodies um, built up so that you can 
protect yourself. But I don't know, lives are going to be lost. And I just think that if lives are going to be lost, there has to be another way to address it because you can't just right. sit there. Because I heard the whole talk about when HIV was discovered, they allowed it two years before they acknowledged it because people wanted to patent it. And so, and a lot of lives were lost in the people doing the licensing and the patenting of who get it first and who, did, who discovered the HIV. And that's crazy. It is about yeah, keeping yeah. us alive and it's about continuing the human race. And it I, cannot be about the I hope when the vaccine, for the Yes, Penny. I hope when the vaccine is here that we don't go to that kind of petty level about who going and get it first, who going and get the patent for it. Who, you know, the whole fight about well, who, and who and who doesn't happen. Because, you know, people lives are at stake here. You know? Well, the, well, the World Health Organization together with, I know, several of the developed countries, including the European Union, and I believe other countries have been, have formed a consortium, so to speak, of trying to get a vaccine that can be globally dispensed. Of course, the United States, yeah. Russia, and China are, are not taking part. Read into that, whatever you may. That's Jeez. crazy. So, so. <sighs> All right, well, let's go to social media. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Richard. Like, let's share on it. Yeah, no, I, together. I was going to check the social media because a lot of people have come on. I saw Ozzy Merrick, uh, Vonette, you know, Ozzy, Ozzy. Hey, has been Ozzy. On before. Hi, Ozzy. Joanne Coggan, Molly No, Deborah He, Alison Connell, Melissa Roberts, Ria yes. Carrera, um, uh, Rihanna Harry Narang, Renison Burnett. Sheldon Molino, Sabrina Celestin, Nikki Polony Henry, Patricia Batiste, Nigel Holder, Londa Young, Sean Drakes, Van der Neel Gardner from Antigas, Richard Ambrose from St. Lucia, some of our regulars are there. A lot of comments coming in. Do you join us, Bonnet? What do you have there? Um, yeah, Hi, Sean Drakes. Carol Prince Mandela said this is unbelievable that money is more important than the well-being than well-being and life to so many. I cannot relate to this way of thinking. Tyrone Rampersad says, is a bull pistol they want. He's talking about the people in, in the States who are actually going out, the dying and whatnot. Um, Sean Drake said, greetings team OMG. I see people line up for doubles with no social distancing, no masks is a sign of Ill indiscipline and no consideration of the consequences. Um, Ambika Rampasad says we are a follow fashion type of people. Just today I see a push, I see pushback from smaller businesses who want to defy orders and open. I do hope that's not true. Um, Ozzy Merrick says his PC is buffering, so he, he, he likes the quality of what he's saying. Um, yes, and Priya Gomes made a comment. She said, so should I get the HIV Ebola? Um, hepatitis C um, injection so I could just build up my immunity, which is a good point. Yeah, slash H1N1. Give me, oh, give me one tablet, please. Just one, one tablet to swallow that conquers everything. That's it, just one. You all know, this, this is the first year I went for my flu shot because I heard about this bad flu. This was the first year I went for the flu shot and then the flu come and be a whole new thing. God. <laughs> I'm not taking no shot like that at all. I hate injections. That injection must be life saving for me to go and take a shot. The only kind of shot I've taken is vodka. Sorry. <laughs> that might work. Right. So you're, not taking, okay, you're not taking. You're not taking any vaccine when it comes out for COVID nineteen. After a million people up. try it and say it's working, then I will take it. I am not a guinea pig. I am nobody's guinea I'm, pig. I hear you, sister. I don't think Trinidad will get it first anyway. Well, you never know. Okay. You never know. We're well, number we, one. We are running. part of our back. Well, we are part of a vaccine trial that's taking place, apparently. But anyway, yeah. we need to move things along. So we're now going to that place, that special place, that special, special that? place, that bastion, that bastion of super intelligent humans that we all love to see what they're doing. It's called Meanwhile at TikTok. Boy. <laughs> Let's 
The first video shows a gentleman so happy about a nice shower of rain. He stands up on the bonnet of his friend's car who just put on his favorite jam and he's just rocking out to it. Listen. Here is the underscore doogla.tt on TikTok. Let's run this clip. One phone call it take to make some boy wipe up a heart and drop down flat. Oh, that was good. Let's see that again now. No way. Let's yes. down again now. Yeah, one more time. That was too funny. Before, eh? <laughs> no, not normally, like but it went so good with the music. One phone call it take to make some boy wipe up a heart and drop down flat. <laughs> <laughs> And drop, it drop, did go in drop. time, it is. Yes. Right. Oh my god. Because that, reminds, good, that, sure. reminds me, yes. that reminds me of a time um when I was a little younger and and um and we used to be, and we used to be going to um and we, uh, you're going there, Salazar. Salazar, you're going there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I remember. And I remember when they used to have Atlantis, and, and we used to go Atlantis on a Wednesday night. And I remember sometimes we used to be the club, and sometimes we used to be in the car, but we all play music, and the car is packed. There must be about nine people in the car, I don't know. <laughs> and we would come to a traffic light, and the traffic light is on stop, and the car door would open, and everybody would come out and dance and dance and dance and dance and dance, and then jump back into the car. <laughs> of course, much to the annoyance. Slash I'm curiosity of the people behind the people inside of you. What the hell is wrong with them? Those were the fun yeah. days. Just a couple of years yeah. ago, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I love you, Richard. You can act. You said these things with a straight face. He's an actor. <laughs> yes, he should act. <laughs> so let's go on to our next clip. So our next clip is from those of you who have never been to a cocoa field and picked up a nice ripe cocoa from the tree, cracked it open and tasted mm. the wonder that is TNT cocoa. I have never done that, so I plead guilty. I've never done that. Oh, so here is, yeah, here is Billie Eilish avocados on TikTok. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my gosh, it breaks! Wow. Because of the Irish avocados. That he's an Irish avocado. Oh, he's an Irish avocado. He's an Irish avocado. I want to pick a cocoa I one day. I usually get my cocoa uh, just so, you know? <laughs> no, I've done it. I've done it. Done it. I went to an I used to have I feel at Trinity College. Trinity College, you used to have a cocoa and citrus field there. Um, and we <laughs> used to pick cocoa. Lots of people. cocoa. But that was just a Love few years ago again. <laughs> That's yeah, Trinity Boys? <laughs> yeah, Trinity <laughs> College <laughs> in Mocha Marava. Trinity. <laughs> oh, that's oh, God, God, God. up there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they say, oh, God, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you, all know, you all know that Trinis are naturally talented. Here is another great impression of a beloved local character. Here is Trinity One at TikTok. Mm. Watch me. I know it has somebody years for the quarantine right now, but don't beat up. Good. <laughs> oh he was bad. He was he not bad. bad. He was not bad. Good. He was not bad. <laughs> oh my God, Olive. Oh, Pretty good. All oh, right, laughing too much. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, he looked like Great. he picked right. some coconut strangle. <laughs> that was how TikTok people are passing the time. So let's jump straight into our next segment where we discuss what's trending today. What oh. cannot recover. <laughs> <laughs> Before 
we get into these trending topics, I want to remind our online audience, you two can send us your thoughts, just email your videos, your clips, your voice notes to info at omgtt.com with your name and contact information. <laughs> you said that, you said that, you said that it's, it's such a juxtaposition to what you just said, um, Richard Young, okay. Uh, all right, so guys, watch. <laughs> what's trending? Penny, what's trending today, Penny? What's trending with you? What's, what's trending, trending with me, boy? Um, well, I just heard that Jason Williams is going up for PNM sour, a sour seat in the, for the PNM um, political party, and I thought that was interesting. I hate when when artists and and, and politics meet. I sometimes it doesn't work out well, except for Reagan. Reagan, um, the, who was the president of um, the, the, the private president of America. But um, I am wishing him luck, Jason William, the Polans man. Who people, yes, yes, the, the one song they sang. Um, well, I Polans, think everybody knows um, Jason. Everybody knows Jason. They must know him. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows Jason. Well, maybe, maybe he's choosing a, a choosing a different. But power to him. I mean, power. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he's just trying something different, a new, a new. We have a stick there. Oh. Well, I know, I said words that is I was, tr sorry, I was trying to keep up. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> a lot of crying. I have to be on side. A lot of crying on yeah, that. <laughs> So we have um we we also have the, the trending topic today. I think you wanted to bring it up, Cecilia, the issue of um Oh yes. Yes, Royal, KFC Royal. and Royal Castle. Well what happened is KFC opened yesterday, as we know. Um at at twelve noon they were ready and they had long lines. And so some of the other uh fried chicken franchises are crying foul that they didn't know and they feel that KFC's owners knew in advance. Well, I do not understand. Oh, really? I don't understand that um, either. Because first of all, if you are Royal Castle and you see a set of Arawak trucks dropping off chicken for KFC, you're going to sit down and go like, uh, I wonder what's going on, day boy. Where's the conspiracy here? <laughs> What going on there, boy? Really? Start nonsense. Start, start getting your chicken in order too. You yeah, see, oh, let's so get your chicken in a row and just move on. What is the matter with them? Everybody knew that something was going to happen this Monday. I mean, you know, it wasn't rocket science, but you get yourself prepared. I hear from people making excuses, you know. Please. Get your ducks in a row, so, cook a curry duck. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> except, except they are chicken place, Penny. Keep your metaphor in mind. We haven't started fried ducks yet. We haven't started fried ducks. Whatever. Get your poultry up in order. Get your poultry in order, please. And there's some small businesses quarreling, eh? Um, yes, because uh, small businesses need the money more than these big businesses, and that's one of my I, I, We should have let some, some of the small businesses open before because I mean, all those little hairdressers and the little barbers and Madame Pearlie's shop and the little man who have a little bar. You know, I find it should have been a little lenient with those those businesses and give them a little, a little four hours in the day or something because. KFC open up boss. You money going one place I again. Agree, Penny, because the real thing is if we adhere to social distancing, that is the real point. So if a small business can open and they have their only four people in at a time and everybody wears masks, I don't see why they can't open as well. They might actually attract less people than those big chicken franchises. Of course, franchises. Of course yeah, but it's I so obvious what's going on with these people here. Anyway, let me hush my mouth because I might get lock up. So Richard Young and Bonnet, do you have anything to add to trending today? Carleen Williams uh, said they're crying foul. And I thought it was a great <laughs> pun. She said people cry, crying foul. 
And it's That's what I said. People cry and foul. People cry and foul. Simone Donnellan. Simone Donnellan says the panel, the panel's laughter and joy is infectious. Yes, yeah, Simone, you know that. <laughs> These people here yeah, is trouble. <laughs> Emma Strong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> yeah. Let me just call a few names. Andre Mondesi, Julio Allen, Christian Philip, Karen Fields Spooner, Chris Rodriguez, Joanne Coggin Molino, Giselle Devereaux, Clinton Clovis, Anthony Joseph. They have all joined us. Thank you for joining us and being part of this. Very entertaining show. A lot of laughter till we cry. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what it's like. Hi, Andre. Of course, this is for all the lovely people online who have joined us today, who are speaking with us, chatting with us, participating. We really appreciate your company. This is for you, so guys, get ready. Today, we have the OMG Guess That Movie Challenge. And all of the movies that you're going to see today are Oscar winners. So that's a big hint, and that makes it a easy. wee bit easier. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you, all you have to do is tell us what is the name of the movie. And if you get the answer correct, you can ask any one of us on the panel a question, including the man's voice you are hearing, Stephen Duval. That's so me. you can yeah. ask any of, one, any one of us a question if you win. So if you get the answer right, that's what you're going to win. If you don't, you lose. All right. So are we ready? Let's get the first. Run the first clip. Run the first clip. <laughs> Easy, yeah, yeah, yeah. easy, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy. easy. boy, but y'all, I couldn't yeah, watch yeah, that movie yeah. right through. I had to stop that movie because I had it on DVD and watch it part by part. It was just too, oh, God, man. Oh, Lord, same, same. Somebody had to go through all of that. Whew. Intense, yeah. intense. Intense, yeah, intense. So anybody, That's anybody got it yet? Raphael, 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 2013, 12 years of play. A lot of people coming in, but late. Yeah. Well, so, yeah all right. so, with Raphael Bernadine, um, get your question ready while we move on to clip number two. I remember that movie. I really like that. I really like that movie. Special movie. Yeah, I really like that movie. I thought the idea of that movie came from when you kiss a, a frog, he turns into a prince. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I love that movie. It was nice. Yeah, it was very, um, I'll, I'll write it down with my yeah. list of movies to see. Yeah, I'm definitely when I find seen that, out the movie. name. There's a nice what movie. movie. Anybody got out there? I think Grave yes. Cave. Grave Cave. Uh -huh. Yes, that's it. Yes. The Shape of Water, 2017. Shape of Water. Yes, The Shape of Water. All right. So, Grey, you also have an opportunity to ask any one of us a question as we move on to our final clip in this. There you go. 10 seconds. Is that right there? in the middle of the world. Wow. That's also very easy. That's also yeah, a la, pretty la, easy la, movie la, to get. La, 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 la. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> no. No. That was, that was the bacchanal year, yes. That was the bacchanal year. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a big hit you just gave there. Sean Drake. Yeah. Sean Drake. Yeah. Moonlight. 
Oh gosh, sure. Drake's like to ask hard questions. Like, what is your theory? <laughs> and All right. Or something. Raphael and Gray. Sean, Raphael and Gray, are we waiting on questions from those three? Right. So while we're waiting for that, we can move on. That was yeah. great. So let's check out our next segment, OMG Live on your screen. Sean Drake say, let Brent Joel ask the question. This movie is a slice of life comedy about a woman on the edge with nowhere to go but over. Lazy Susan is a story about a spectacularly unmotivated woman for whom doing nothing is exhausting. Sharing, sharing the deliriously funny Sean Hayes. Or starring, so starring, I just lost my focus there. Starring Sean Hayes from the very popular sitcom, Willa and Grace. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. You were staring off into, <laughs> into <laughs> Trinity. <laughs> several screens in front of me. A little crazy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish my family died in a house fire. Except for me, you know. And then everyone put money in a fund for poor baby Susan. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Is there anything else Kmart should know about you before we conclude this interview? I'm very creative and I can do percentages in my head. I see you left the box unchecked for have you ever been convicted of a crime? And turn. Your father could never keep a job either. Hey, Susan, want to hear a joke? I don't. I'm late for work. Well, where are you working now? Uh, kind of all around, you know, party planning. And, you know, like that. You kicked me out of my apartment. I gave you like nine warnings. Uh, what are you looking to get for this today? Twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, this is employees only. You're supposed to use gloves when scooping ice. I was just wondering if I could stay with you. Guys. What the? What is wrong with? You? I'm sorry, I got distracted, and next thing I know, I'm banging into the back of you. Oh, yeah, I know you want it! You work here? I own it. Oh, my God. This could be what I've been waiting for. Someone to take care of me for a change. Can I borrow your Spanx for tonight? No, the boys made eye masks out of them. We're all going on a trip. We're taking you to Niagara Falls. <laughs> My Agatha Falls is on my vision board. You're not going. I'm Susan. Did you get me a present? Oh, yes, sweetie. I got you. Oh, here's some crazy glue. Cool. Yeah, go crazy. Uh, uh. I would love that. Well, I would. Yeah, sure it is. Sure it is. It's funny. It's funny. I love the party. Yeah. Right, have to <laughs> we have to put some done. Done. It's We have two questions. Life, you know. Uh, two questions for yes. Penny. Penny, your first question is, um, what is your most loved role and why? That's the first question. Well, my, I, uh, my, I, I really have two. I really can't differentiate between the both. And there are two prostitutes, I don't know, Mary Cadanza and um, Jean and Dinah. They, they, they're my two love roles. Um, I love the experience of Mary. Um, her journey is a little similar to Penelope Spencer's journey. Um, I except I didn't do that kind of dancing. Well, there was that time, but anyway, and I then I also time. really love the history of of Jean and Dinah and going through the journey of those characters and the and the time that they worked and the time that they 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 they, they were discouraged by men and and Sparrow making money off of them and then they finding themselves and their and their power 
I love Jean and Diana. So those two two plays are my best plays, and I, I really can't pick which one. Mm. The second question nice, to you, nice. Penny. The second question is for Penny as well, and and Brent is asking, do you think we we can go ahead with a delayed SEA? Do you think it is safe for our kids? I think. I think we should go on with the, our our SCA delayed or not. I mean, the children been going over their work and studying, and um, I think there should be the SCA, and it should happen now. It should happen as soon as possible. I think they were saying like in June. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that's what I think. I think is is, is necessary. Is um, and then after this year, we should just squash squash SCA because I really um. I think that that what that exam it does to children. I've seen children be traumatized because of SEA. I hate, I hate, I hate this SEA personally. But um, yeah, um, I don't know if I answered it. Yeah, yeah my daughter is going through SEA right now. So are they saying like October, Penny? They're saying October. Uh, they're doing these. Yeah. They're doing these CSAC yeah. and Cape in June, July. So in people are saying, July. why not do the yeah. SEA then as well? So we're waiting exactly. to find out. Yeah. So there's no form one when school reopens. There'll be no yeah, need no, form one. Not right now. Form one is in January. Form one will January. start in January. That's the plan right now. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, is that the question that on it? Last question from Raphael, and he's posing this question to anyone on the panel. So whoever wants to jump in can jump in. The question is, on the topic of fruits, if one of your loved ones got buried in a tree pod as one of your favorite fruits, would you eat from the tree after it bears? If it's cocoa. <laughs> 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 oh, actually, OMG, OMG well. live Coconut the quarantine. Well. Oh, OMG live the quarantine <laughs> edition is brought to you today by the word cocoa. Coco. Coco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, not cocoa, not Coco looks no longer in here that word. Oh no, Coco I cannot be Coco. Not that. No. Oh god. Oh, Richard Come Young, your, Richard Young, Richard Young, your facial expression is priceless. Yeah. I would eat from the food. I would eat from okay. the food. We I would eat from the uh, okay. That I would eat uh, with my my loved one. So I would eat from the <laughs> tree. Yeah. Yes. Even if it's a cocoa. All right. Even if it's a cocoa tree. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> yeah. Which leads us into our next um, segment. So I was thinking. Well, well, so, well, uh, ladies, what gentlemen, what have you been thinking? What have you been thinking? I Seriously, guys, so let me tell you, yeah, I am so thankful for each of you. Eh? I am, I am so thankful and so honored that I get to share space with each of you on a daily basis. It is, it is actually one of the highlights of this period. I just wanted to say that. That's what I'm just thinking. You all just crack me up. I absolutely adore every one of you. That's what I think. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Um, what, what about you, Penny? Hello. What I've been thinking, I just thinking about, you know, when I was reading that Jason Williams going up for election, I was saying, but wait, this is an election year. How are we going to do the social distancing and and doing all of that with this election year? That'll be so interesting. I want to see what that looks like, and with this COVID this crisis going on because. I know this COVID crisis is not going to finish in in um, September. 
I this this COVID crisis I'm going to finish until there's a vaccine. So I am really eager to find out how this election, American elections, um, this year as well. So that that's what I'm thinking. I'm I'm eager, eager to see mm-hmm. what that's going to take place. What that's going to yeah. look like. Mm. I've been thinking. Uh, I bounced upon something, so to, it led me to think that a lot of times, sometimes we don't. Um, talk a lot of the positives that happen inside of the negative space. And there are some world exemplars, um, like Rihanna is giving $5 million to the COVID-19 response. Uh, Beyonce is giving a a few million to mental health for the frontline workers. I heard that Trevor Noah is paying his staff from his pocket. Um, The Ebony Foundation is giving feeding over 600,000 children. So sometimes you need to applaud these exemplars internationally, even local exemplars who are making an effort to do good inside of the the negative space. So I think that a congratulatory note should be shouted out to people who do good in times like this. Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Angostura also did that too. Eh? Angostura staff. Yes. And uh, mm-hmm. they also yeah. contributed a million dollars um, in terms of um, from their um, whatever fund um, to assist in COVID 19. Mm-hmm. Well, Cecilia, what have you been thinking? Gosh, well, to be honest, I am still thinking about our conversation yesterday about whistleblower or snitch. That's still on my mind because I saw this thing on CNN where in St. Louis, um, some of the salons that were not supposed to be opened, they opened and people whistleblowed or snitched on them. And somehow somebody got a hold of all their names and they printed all the names for everyone to see. And these people were getting death threats and, you know, they got some of them got fired because they snitched or whistleblowed on their bosses. So I just find it so intriguing because the woman said, I have lupus. So I am compromised. So you can't force me to come out to work and work is happening. So if I tell, am I a whistleblower or a snitch? I still find that an intriguing topic that's been going on in my mind. As I say, maybe because I did the play Miss Miles, the woman of the world, and she was a whistleblower. And we are talking about intention yesterday, but we can't know someone else's intention. We can only assume what the intention is. So this year with elections coming up, we have to watch all intentions and pay attention. But facts is facts. <laughs> yeah. Watch intention. Very, very watch intention. Yeah. Intention. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I haven't been thinking much. I mean, yesterday I was. <laughs> Was it yesterday? Yesterday, coincidentally, I was just flicking through YouTube and I came across these videos of Abu Dhabi and Dubai, where was the, this guy was talking about both of them from different angles, um, from, uh, from the people point of view, the Emiratis, from uh, different perspectives. And one of the things he remarked on was their roads that Abu Dhabi and Dubai, that their roads and highways are so fantastic. They're so flat and well paved. Um, The speed limit is 140 kilometers an hour. And he says it's so easy for you to get to that point because the roads are so well made in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. And I just thought to myself, wow, maybe Kusals and Jumasco, was it Jumasco? Yes, Jumasco needs to go and do our paving road 101 in Dubai and Abu Dhabi since they're the two main contractors for the roads in this country. And just get to our roads that are come just to Samco. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why yeah. I said Jumasco, it just wasn't coming to me. To Samco and Kusas, please take a trip to Abu Dhabi and Dubai, not for leisure, but to learn how to make roads. Thank you. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Please, Richard, Richard. But if you learn how to make yeah. roads, every four years, you wouldn't have to pave roads. And 
You're trying to take money from their pocket. So oh, they do roll so that every other year they can do roll again. That's a whistleblower. That's a whistleblower. Yeah. That's a whistleblower. That's a whistleblower. Yeah. Just today. <laughs> yes. Yes, Penny. Penny, Just they're calling you all. They're calling you. Um, I saw something and they were interviewing Dubai's leader, coincidentally, that you should say this. And they are saying, why are you rushing? How oh, your country has gone in the last five years. There are hundred and something high rises, the standard of living. And he says, because I want the best for my people. Now, I want my people to live comfortably now. The standard of living is great. So that's what we should all want. Our leaders to want that for us. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. And I, that, as you brought up that, yeah. Cecilia, you know what that comes back to? That for, for me, Citygate is supposed to be pristine and fantastic because there are more people going through Citygate than the airport in any given day. And Citygate is for us so it should not it should be the best of the best and not having to have steps for old people to crawl up while everybody <laughs> rushing past them um like i don't know that they, they ban escalator seals to trinidad and tobago so they can't get any in um in city gate i i those kind of things irk me because that's for us yeah. the people here yeah, yeah. How could there be still Trinidadians and Tobagonians with latrines? Really? Yeah. 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 I'm telling really? you. Really? Yes. Come on. Yeah. Amazing. In 2020. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. can't be sitting down no. next to a crap hole. That is not good. <laughs> you can't be sitting down next to a crap No. Uh, Absolutely not. <laughs> there are a few people well, I want no. to give shout out to. <laughs> I want to say a shout out to Roseanne Sedeno, Rachel Bascom, Franklin Jackdale, one of our regulars, Celestine Joseph, Nidia Byron, another um, regular from New York, and Joan Peer from Toronto, who never ceases to come on. All right, thanks for joining us. Any comments, Vonette? Yeah, we have a few. Uh, uh, Rachel Young said, Penny Hill Court closed. <laughs> Um, Franklin says yes, um, they should want their people to be living the best in agreement with Cecilia's, po Cecilia's point. Tyrone says, Von had laughed and she cried. Tyrone and Laya told them, boy, I cried tears here today. <laughs> tears. Joan, Joan Pay asks if, there, if there's anyone in, in Trinidad and Tobago with deep pockets who are actually doing the charity thing during this period. And, and I responded and told her that there are a few people doing doing things. I don't know if it's enough, but there are a few people, a few organizations yeah. that that are and doing yeah. stuff. Plenty. And Heather Spencer yeah, thanks Richard are. Young for the development of the people who have been giving up themselves. Yeah. Yeah, but I think well, we can move on from there. All right. Let's... Well, that's it. Let's and let's say Belinda Rambley. Belinda Rambley, hello. I think she's on and we didn't make notice of her before. All right, people, that's it, folks. Thanks to those who watched and took part. Please, we want our viewers to join us. Send us your comments, your voice notes, or your voice clips and thoughts and perspectives. Email it to info at omgtt.com so we can share it on the OMG Live, the quarantine edition. And if your Facebook Live edition of today's show was glitchy because of your, your and yours alone internet service, you can watch a smooth recorded version on YouTube. Just go to OMG TV TT and we're going to upload it shortly. Today we leave you with a brand new music video released just a few hours ago, so it doesn't get hotter off the press than this. Ooh, it's called yeah. Jamming to Soka with lead vocals Jamming. by Island, a new Trinidadian artist featuring American rapper Bofleck, Bofleck sorry, from I'm North Carolina right. in the United States. So, all right, you know what, nice. guy and ladies, let's say our goodbyes, please. Guys, bye. 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 This was the bye. best show of all. Most wonderful bye. show. Bye. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
And Landa Young, I love you. Landa Young, I love you. See you tomorrow, guys. Join us every Monday, every day, Monday to Friday, 2 p.m. right here at OMGTT on Facebook. To see me or today's show or any other show that you want to see, please go to Vimeo or YouTube at OMGTVTT. All the shows are there for you to enjoy on demand. Thank you again, everyone. And as we always say at OMG, let's be kind to each other. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. She said no man has came this close. If you wanna come through the scene, boy, just come in. Make me climb for the thing, baby vibes and just get better. Watch on me why not?